This is the plaintiff, Juan Bayangreas. He says he bought a dump truck from the defendant for the pool business he was starting, and the thing wouldn't start on his very first day of work. Turns out the guy unloaded a lemon on him. His mechanics told him the defendant sold him a piece of junk, and he's here seeking the return of the $5,000 he's owed. This is the defendant, Frank. He says he went above and beyond for the plaintiff, fixed the truck for free once, and now the guy thinks he's gonna fix it for him every time it breaks down? He's a family-run business that takes care of its customers, but there's no warranty on this truck, and he isn't obliged to fix it every time it breaks down. He's accused of dumping a bad truck onto a customer. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff bought a dump truck from the defendant. It was a piece of junk, but the defendant says there's no warranty so tough. It's the case of taking a dump. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Juan Bayin Reyes, you are suing Frank. Okay, you've asked uh, not to mention your last name Correct. or the name of the auto repair shop, but you're suing Frank's Auto Repair Shop. You're sure. the owner? All right, for $5,000, you say you're out actually more than that um, because according to you, they sold you a lemon. Tell me what happened. Um, well, um, I was looking for a buy a dump truck because I was gonna start a small business. What kind of business? A uh, swimming pool business. Okay. Okay, so I was looking for, you know, equipment to start up the uh, business. So I was looking around everywhere, and uh, I ended up, you know, going with him. So he got a dump truck for sale, so it was like uh, $8,000. So I was like, all right. I went to see him. I called him up. He said the truck was great. I went and drove it. But... Uh, when, you know, I, did, I drove it just around the corner for like, you know, very short period of time. And he said, it's good. So I give him a- What'd your mechanic say? Well, I didn't bring any mechanic. I just oh. went- Okay. <laughs> by myself. Right. You know? And he said that any issues with the truck, he will fix it, anything, you know. Ever, forever? Well, you know, some, some type of warranty, because I had... Well, what is the warranty? 30-day warranty. Okay, so you have a 30-day warranty. Yeah. Okay. Okay, a so... A 30-day warranty on what? Is it in writing? It is. Uh, it's, it's, it's basically on New York State law as well. Okay, can I see the warranty? Sure. So I know what's warranted and what is not? <clears throat> Thank you. With a conditional 30-day warranty or 3,000 miles, whichever occurs first. Right. Where's the explanation of the warranty? I don't have one with me. Okay. We do, we, you give him we one? Do, we, well, with, with that being said, we, we would have covered within that period of time essentially any repair. Any repair? We try to do the right thing. Well, that's more than what New York State law requires, right? Cause and I, and in, in this scenario, <clears throat> I, I went beyond... Is it under 100,000? It is over. It's over 100,000 miles. Correct. The dump truck had over uh, 100,000 miles? Yeah, I think you just barely passed the 100,000. Do you 000. have to give a warranty when it's over 100,000? No. All right, so when you sold it, you gave him a 30-day warranty. And what goes wrong with the dump truck? Okay, uh, when I... What uh, day did you buy it? On, uh, like, February, uh, <coughs> the beginning of it. January 21st is the invoice date. Yep. I don't see anything signed, so I don't know where you... When did he buy it? He bought it on the 22nd was actually when it was completed. Of January? Yes. All right. Does that sound right? Yeah. Okay. So when do you alert him to a problem? Well, uh, first of all, the, uh, before he... The, the truck was dropped, okay? And I said to him, my business is going to start on, like, middle of March. So I, I'm going to register the truck at that time. Okay. When I went down to register the truck... Started with the started with the problems. He took the truck to get it inspected, and it took like a week and a half. So what I, problems? He said the truck broke down before he dropped it off again to me. Okay, so you didn't have a problem. He had a problem with it. Yeah. Why is he driving the truck? Because he was gonna get inspected before I go on to register it. Okay. So what day was that happening? Uh, February um, 19. That's when I put in the uh, truck insurance and everything. Okay, so before February 19th, did you drive the truck to be inspected? 
Uh, I did not prior to February 19th. When is it you did this? The truck was actually as a courtesy to him because he had did, did buy the truck. He did explain specs to me the fact that he would not be registering the truck for some period of time thereafter because of the fact that it's a seasonal business. Um, so at that point, he had asked if we would be able to use our uh, a plate to drive the truck to his home. So the truck was actually dropped off on the 22nd to his uh, of what pres month? residence of January. Okay. But then did you take the car? You, did you hear what he just said? I did, did that happen? The and, and, and in and actually March, the truck was picked up to be inspected. Why did you guys get involved in that? Shouldn't have. Live and learn. So are cheap cars a good deal or a bad deal? You have to do your research before you buy the car. Well, Look I know, but, but if you're really pushing it and you look for the cheapest car, good idea, bad idea? I think it's a bad idea. You, you're going to get what you pay for. I think so. Going inside the courtroom. When I was driving the truck home that night- And on, what day uh, was this? We're talking about uh, the 16th of March. There was actually a tow receipt on, excuse me, the 11th of March. Of March? Yes, so the, ten, the, the night of the 10th of March. Okay. I had stopped at his home to get the vehicle. On the ride home, the vehicle actually had, did have an, uh, an issue occur. What happened? It was, it was losing power for some okay. reason. I wasn't sure if it was electrical, if it was fuel related, but in any capacity, it just didn't make it fully the way ride home. Um, so at that point, I did pull over, had it towed into my facility in Huntington. Okay. And then what did you do? Did well, from you there, we it? no, we did. We well, What was we, wrong with it? A fuel pump. You replaced the fuel pump? There's not A. There is actual multiple in that vehicle because it's a large diesel dump truck. Okay. All right. So we replaced what we thought at the time was the single and only faulty fuel pump. Okay. And then what happened? Uh, from there, he picked it up. Okay. And then what happened? Well, as it continued, he then drove it for a few days or a week or something of that nature. Uh, he had another issue where basically the exact same problem that I had occurred that one time driving it home from his house occurred again. Okay. So at that, at that point, again, we had it towed into the facility again. Did you charge him for the tow? No. Now we're two months out of warranty. Yes. Right? Correct. Or at least one month. It's, it's past the 30 days. Regardless past the 30 of the actual... days for sure. In fact, yes. the first repair was past the 30 days. Correct. Okay. And so you have it towed at no cost to him back to your facility to do what with it? Rediagnose to see what was issued. And what did you do? At that point, we discovered that there was actually another fuel pump that needed to be changed as and well. And so you changed that? Correct. Did you charge him for that I change? I did not. Okay. And then what happened? From there, he picked it up. It was running okay again. Same issue. However, there, there and after, at this point, now he's using it full time. The business appear, I, I'm not sure of his business, but he did have a large trailer attached to the truck. Okay. From there, he broke down again at some point. When's at some point? Uh, this is 411 was the... Okay. So yes. let me ask you a question, Mr. Reyes. Um, you struck a certain deal with him, and that's the deal you struck. You struck a 30-day warranty. Uh-huh. Um, and that's it. Well... And so why is it that 30-day warranties for other people mean 30 days, but for you they don't? Because the, the truck only... I only used one day to go to work, and it broke down on me. Was it... Before 30 have, days? No, it was after. Right. So then you're outside of the warranty. Okay. But like I said... It could be the biggest piece of garbage on the planet. But see, you think that that means that I am going to interfere. When people sell used cars, stuff happens. So if your contract that was good enough for you was, I'm going to get a truck for $8,200 and it's just going to have a 30 day warranty. That's your contract. I didn't do your contract. You did it. Now, as it turns out, you weren't able to use this truck and you ended up having to buy another truck, right? Of course. Right. Next time, get an, uh, especially if it's a commercial vehicle of this size, why wouldn't you get a mechanic to look at it? I didn't have any friends. The goal you don't need friends. Me. You need to pay somebody. You well, need to open, you need to shoot the lock off your little wallet. I didn't have any more money. Then Your you didn't Honor. have any more money. Then look at what happens. Lo barato sale caro. Right? The cheap comes out expensive. I know. Okay? You have a 30 day warranty. Your problems happened after the 30 days. End of story. Verdicts for the defendant. I Well, the plaintiff learns a tough lesson here in court. A 30 day warranty means 30 days, and that's it. Nothing more. What do you think? Um, I think it was, uh, it was not right, the decision, but. Why? 30 day warranty. Yeah, but you're only using one day. Doesn't matter. The truck. <laughs> you, well, you learned a tough lesson. Sorry yeah. about that. No, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Here comes the defendant now, Frank. You know, you sound like a pretty, really nice guy. Quite frankly, you Try did a lot be. for him. Yeah. Well, yeah. We uh, tried to do the right thing for all our customers. Um, Unfortunately, you can't make everyone happy every time, and that just seems to be the situation. Okay, good. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Good sir. guy. All right. Harvey, what do you think? 
You know, everybody talks about a warranty like somebody put something in front of you and it's etched in stone. It's not. You can negotiate a warranty. You can always extend the period of time, lower the amount it costs.